What's up guys, my name is Crows of Python, and welcome to my third episode of Voice the Cup. Today we'll be going into the Honda tournament, I don't even know what it's called, I just know that you get Inform Honda if you win it. Um, there's no restrictions on it, so this is basically my standard skill team pretty much, and I don't know, I just thought I'd try them out in this tournament. So in net we have the absolutely incredibly amazing Joe Hart, left back is Hizoko, Left center back, we have an injured Colo Toure. Right center back is the overpowered David Luiz. Right back is Richards. Pretty beast. First five star skiller, Tarapt. Center mid, Toure, who's also injured. Pretty funny. Uh, Gorakuf at left center mid. Ribari at left wing. Jeremy Menez at striker. And the best non rare player in the game, Ben Arfa at right wing. So let's get on to the tournament, guys. Alright, so in the first game here, I come up against this guy who is Van Percy, Torres, you know, likes of that, David Luiz. Standard Prem team. The only thing about his team is he doesn't have a defensive midfielder, which I really like playing against because he basically has six forward kind of players and only four defensive, so generally I like to build my teams with like five defensive, five forwards to be more balanced. But we get off to a really nice start here, great run from Trapped and chops inside and scores a... Nice power shot. Um, I actually did this tournament like a couple hours after it came out, so I was kind of expecting some, you know, hard competition. The tryhards that want to get the Honda before, um, before he goes down in price or whatever, right? Because everyone and their mom's gonna get this uh, Honda, so try to get him early and sell him for, you know, twenty to thirty k before he drops down to his discard value, which is probably what he will end up being. But as you can see there, he got a corner kick and, you know, got a rebound goal. Those are frustrating, can't do anything about them, but it happens. In this clip, I show you a nice build-up play. Beautiful ball there, actually, and the smart pass inside to finesse it with the, kind of oddly with his left foot into that corner. So I got 2-1 in the 72nd minute, and that was quite the foul. <laughs> like, holy, just totally, like, kicked Rebri's leg, like, way out you get a nice no no replay um usually i would shoot that because i'm a cocky motherfucker but uh in tournament time you gotta be smart so i cross it across cross it across yes good words um to david louise anyways and he heads it home because he's overpowered like i said earlier and we're up three nothing 85th minute he basically i'm pretty sure he went ultra attacking because look at all that space that's that's incredible so I won that game 4-1 pretty easily. I mean, it was really easy to break down his defense with that no defensive midfielder, like I said. And in the second game, I come against this guy who is a pretty insane team. A nice little hybrid there, basically, with uh, Serie A and BBVA. With Inform Higuain, Inform Vidal, and, you know, still has Iniesta, Thiago Silva. So, I was pretty worried because that defense is pretty sick. I've never really played against uh, Higuain, but that strike force... One thing about his team is Danny Alves probably will be going up farther than uh, Sanchez there because Sanchez is the high defensive work rate and such. So that's really why I don't like using him. But this guy didn't seem to mind. Anyways, as you can see, I uh, just about that goal before Ben Arfa scooped turned inside, beautifully placed it. And then I failed there. I tried to head it, like kick it back to my goalie, but my guy was an idiot and just headed it, gave him an easy goal. Ben Arfa though, man, like, I told you, I'm coming up against these defenses with Thiago Silva's and Chiellini's and stuff like that, and he was by far the best player. Like, him and Tarapt, the two lowest rated players in the team, I think, like, other than Zoko maybe, absolutely dominated it. I don't know. I guess it's just weird. But as you can see, he ended up disconnecting. I don't know what happened. And then uh, I come up against this guy who has Messi, and he's got a little nice Argentina Serie A hybrid kind of thing where he somehow managed to fit in Danny Alves and the Serie A defense with Messi, which is annoying. And I gotta say, guys, this, this is the third round of the tournament. This guy was a fantastic player. As you can see here, he gets a free kick with doing some skills with Messi, and look what he does. Just beautiful free kick. Curls around my wall. Gotta give all credit to that goal. And I gotta say guys, Joe Hart kept me in this tournament the whole way through. 
And uh, here I get pretty lucky. I actually subbed on Pato because I like that. I don't know. Pato just. Pato's amazing. That's all I gotta say. So I subbed him on for Menez and he came up big for me right there with like Richard just bombing down the wing and crosses it in. Again, that goal didn't take any skill. This was actually quite late in the game there in 78th minute, I believe. And I'm just gonna let this clip run because something happens. I get the ball back. I think it's right after this. He fouls me. Yelp. He fouls me. And this is probably one of the weirdest goals I've got because I kind of lob it in with Toure there and somehow he gets credit for the goal. So I don't know if it went off his defender's head or if it went off mine. But I'm not going to lie, that game was complete bullshit. No way I should have won that. But hey, I'll take it. I'm into the finals. I'm one game away from that Honda and I come up against this team. The most hated team. The 4-2-3-1 Brazilians. Oh, so frustrating, so frustrating. He's like the absolute perfect lineup. Like, the four attacking kind of players, and then you have this it's defensive mid in Lucas Lieva or something like that, and then you have the box-to-box -box midfielder in Ramirez. It, it's probably the perfect team. I mean, except for Julio Cesar. I was really like, oh yeah, Julio Cesar sucks. You know, I just gotta beat him. And as you can see, these first two goals weren't great. But uh, I don't show my misses and stuff, and Julio Cesar had a fantastic game. Yeah, I was so mad, but I go up 2 nothing, so you know, I'm feeling pretty confident. I set it to ultra defensive, I subbed in some defensive mids to replace Taraft and Gorkoof, because they're more attacking. Uh, but things didn't happen the way they were supposed to, as Neymar just burst a pace and somehow puts it bes uh, behind the, I don't know, past my goalie, let's try that. And here, he gets a corner, and again, like, look at... How do I defend that? You can. Like, it's, it's bullshit. <laughs> I've been swearing so much this video because this tournament pissed me off. I mean, I was so, like, as you can see, 2-2, we end up going to extra time, and Rubinho gets the goal against me. You know, it's just so frustrating. And after that goal, he played possession for the rest of the game, so I lost the tournament. One goal. One goal from getting the best tournament prize possible. But you know, uh, it happens. As you can see, I've been eliminated. Sorry if you guys were expecting a win, but just didn't happen this time, you know? And I, it's very frustrating, but what are you going to do? So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you later. Subscribe, please, and stuff. Thanks. Bye.